Friends, we have come here today to witness and bless an outward commitment, which reflects the connection already made by Raymond and Joseph. I, Raymond, take you, Joseph, to be my husband and partner in faith. I, Joseph, take you, Raymond, to be my husband, my soulmate, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow. I promise to express my love for you in all ways possible. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow. <laughs> What is that? Whoa, whoa! These are nice. I promise that I will share my thoughts and feelings with you. I promise that I will give you the freedom to be yourself. I promise with my heart, my mind, and my body to honor and cherish you from this day forward. By the power vested in me by the state of California and the United Church of Christ, I pronounce that they are husbands and joined in holy matrimony. You may seal your union with a kiss. Love comes not because we invite it, but because we surrender to it. To Ray and Joseph, cheers. It's so obvious how much love they have for each other. The love that they have for each other, they have for Landon. And he's the luckiest son in the world. There's a proverb that states, a joy that is shared is a joy made double. Raymond, your mom and I are very happy that you and Joseph will be sharing a joy between the two of you and also with your son, Landon. Joe, I love you with all my heart. You have been my cousin, my brother, and my best friend. Ray, you have brought out the best in Joe. You are the perfect addition to our family. Toast to Joe and Ray. Joseph, my son. I'm so proud for you. Keep your love going, not for the day, tomorrow too. And work it one day at a time. Don't try to work it all at one time. I want to taste the heart.